and Macklemore, you know, Ben Haggerty, right? Yeah. He came into the, um, and saw my picture at Uncut Casting and he cast me for his um, White Walls video, co-star. Wow. And I had no acting abilities. I was a nervous wreck. I was terrified. <laughs> I thought I was background, okay? Next thing you know, I'm in makeup and, oh my God, wardrobe. I'm and you're on set with Macklemore. Yeah, he's wonderful. What a nice guy. Mary Dallas, thank you so much for coming on the Uniweb interview show. I'm your host, as always, Matthew Whiteside. Mary, you're an actress, a Californian. Yes. You're currently <laughs> filming in a, um, a regular on Barbie Rehab on Amazon in a web series. Busy yes. lady, moving and shaking down the <laughs> boardwalk. How are you? <laughs> thank you so much for coming on and joining me. I really do appreciate your time. How are Thanks you today? Thanks for having me. I'm honored. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm excited to talk to you. I've, so, as you know, I talk to a lot of authors. Yes. Um, I have talked to a few actors and actresses. Um, but it's always interesting to me talking to uh, those in the film or television industry because it's, it's a creative outlet. It's a medium. Um, for for that creativity, not unlike writing. Let's talk about what you're doing now, right? Okay. Barbie so, Rehab. Barbie Rehab. Do you want me to tell you a little about a little bit about it, real quick, so you understand where, what it is? No, let's just. I just want to make up a story about what it is. Okay? okay. What I imagine it is is like you actually have doll. Are you playing just the voice of a Barbie that is? in Malibu, at a Malibu rehab? That's an interesting concept, but no. <laughs> I think that'd be fun. No, okay, yeah, you, please tell me You're what close. it is. You're close. I'm close? Okay. Nice. Um, remember when, uh, you know those Barbies that we had as kids? You know, I remember had my Barbies. Bar yeah, well, not you, but your sister or some friend yeah. you had a crush on. But um, <laughs> just imagine that they all came to life and they all okay. have issues, so they go to rehab. Oh, nice. Yeah. That sounds exciting. <laughs> yeah. And our and our uh, um, our what do you call it? Our therapist, Doctor Midge. She's mm -hmm. the one that you know. She wears this long gown, this green gown. And season one is all on YouTube right now, but season two got picked up by Amazon. And we just That's cast awesome. Tom Sizemore and Janet Dickinson and wow. Bai Ling and Lisa Wilcox from Nightmare on Elm Street. Wow. So is this is this like a mockumentary kind of kind of thing? Are the it's it's like um, every Barbie that came to life has its own version of herself in a Barbie version. Okay. And they're just all like really nuts. So they go to this rehab and season one pretty much is all about rehab. And then Cop Ken shows up and uh -huh. he wants to get therapy, but he has a chip on his shoulder. And Cop Ken. Mad, you know, he gets really mad. So he does a little research and I guess Dr. Midge doesn't even have a, um, a license. <laughs> so he exposes <laughs> no license. her. Yeah. No license to be a therapist, but she's trying. No, she any any schooling whatsoever. So, and he exposes her. So this oh, huge um, uh, kind of fight ensues, kind of like um, Sam and Diane and Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Funny. This yeah. this sounds really interesting. And so season all of season one is on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You can and check it's just, on you, Yeah. And you can just type in Barbie Rehab and find find you on on season one how many episodes are on there i'm actually not in season one i got picked up in okay. season three. yeah I'm you got neighbor. added on remember bewitched the crazy neighbor yes. kravitz i'm kind of like that me and my husband we hate each other and we're weird <laughs> 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 that's awesome so you guys are neighbors to the rehab yeah we're right we live right on the, on the same street or next door or something <laughs> so i've been to rehab and i've always wondered <laughs> about the people <laughs> Who live right next to the places? Yeah, well, you're gonna find out. <laughs> are the are you? What's the name of your character? I'm Neighbor Mary. Neighbor Mary. Hey, that's, yeah. you get to use your real name. I know, isn't that cool? It's great. Must make it easy for you, right? It is. It, I just play me with a little extra crazy. That's wonderful. <laughs> and are they filming where you live, like in the same area? No, we actually film in Burbank. 
Okay, so it's uh, how far away is Burbank from you? From it's about an hour uh, with no traffic, hour and twenty, but it's usually a couple hours because you know California is so overpopulated. <laughs> so here's what I'm yeah. So here's what I'm interested in finding out too because I've always wondered this. Like, do they film a, like a show like this? How many episodes are we talking? Well, we just got picked up. I think we have like um, twelve episodes that we're going to start off with. Okay. And then we'll go from there. We'll see how those have, do. Have you started filming yet? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, how many days a week are you filming, or do you? How do you do it? Uh, well, actually, we, we've been filming like uh, two or three episodes every couple of months. It's kind of like a slow process right now. Um, we're just kind of pretty much doing what Amazon is asking. I think. <laughs> sure. I don't know for sure. They I don't just tell you that whenever they ask me to. <laughs> That's right. They don't tell you all that stuff, right? Nah, not really. <laughs> So are you enjoying it, though? Has it been a oh, lot of fun? my God. I'm having the time of my life. It's like a dream come true. Seriously. That's really cool. It so, is. But you've, you've been acting for a while, correct? About I mean, four years. I started um, at 48. About six years. I started. Six years. So what mm-hmm. happened six years ago that you decided to... Uh, well, what were you doing six years ago? I was just going to the biker bars and playing pool and just wasting my life because I just got done divorcing my husband of 15 years. I thought I'm going to go to the bar because I turned 40. <laughs> nice. I turned 40 when my uh, divorce was final. It was the same day. Wow. So, yeah, I was just going to the bars with my friends and I thought, you know, this is getting old. Um, at about 48, I thought I was burnt out. I thought this has got to be more to life than this. You know, and I'm Greek and we, I've been in the restaurant business my whole life. Yeah. And I kind of want to do something different, you know. Absolutely. Um, and what- I've always wanted to entertain. I've always entertained people, telling jokes, making people laugh. It's just something I love to do. And so I thought, yeah. so I got on Twitter and I asked Chad Michael Murray, I want to get into acting. What do you suggest? <laughs> and he You're told smart. me, Chad Michael Murray responded and he said, well, you, I st- start out background and he, um, he recommended uncut casting. So I signed up and I got picked um, and Macklemore, you know, Ben Haggerty, right? Yeah, he came into the um, and saw my picture at Uncut Casting, and he cast me for his um, White Walls video co-star. Wow! And I had no acting abilities. I was a nervous wreck. I was terrified. <laughs> I thought I was background. Okay, next thing you know, I'm in makeup and oh my god, wardrobe. I and you're on set with Macklemore. Yeah, he's wonderful. What a nice guy. Yeah, that's and that's got to be like Seattle too. Yeah. He's what from Seattle. Well, they flew me to Seattle to film one of the, the trailer park scene. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Yeah, I was trailer trash. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's true. You got to watch See? the video on that. All those, all those years in the biker bars paid off. It did pay off because, uh, yeah, uh, didn't take much. Stone you can't, throw. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, yeah, you can't connect the dots looking forward, right? You got to connect them looking back. Yeah, that had to have been such a mind blowing thing to go from that to having Macklemore be like, "Yeah, let's get her in the video." I couldn't believe it. I was like, "Why does he want a forty eight woman, forty eight year old woman in his rap music video?" And then I realized, yeah, I make oh, out I with get. a, I make out with a rapper and everything, Matt. You got to watch it. You made out with the rapper in it? I did. I did. <laughs> How was that? Well, he kind of slobbered, but he was a nice guy. <laughs> he wasn't. Wait, what was the rapper's name? I don't remember. When you see him, maybe you'll recognize him. I don't know. But um, uh, Schoolboy Q was in it, and Sir uh-huh. Mix-a-Lot. Sir Mix-a-Lot was in it too. That's really cool. Yeah, so that's I a pretty it. amazing first experience. So you must have been like, I got to do this again. Like, well, I started taking acting lessons right after that. Yeah. Yeah. So where did you go to start right? taking acting lessons? I guess I guess in California they're everywhere, right? You can take an acting lesson on the corner. Well, I mean, I they've been all in LA. But I got lucky, you know. Uh, you know Wendy Gerard. She's an actress. She was on. Mm. She was with Woody Woody Allen in that movie oh my, Annie Hall. She's okay. also a producer, director, writer. But she's a um, she's a very trained um, uh, teacher too. So she taught some an acting class, but it ended. But then I took a class in in uh, Real no uh, Ontario. Um, it's in the moment acting studios. Top priority group. They're fantastic. Tommy wow. Ibarra. I was my instructor. He's amazing. Taught me yeah. everything. I yeah. And he's my manager too now. <laughs> I always wonder about these acting classes. Like I've I've wanted to take acting classes. I was gonna I was gonna start doing, taking an improv comedy class. 
But I've always wondered, like, what are they teaching you to be? How? I mean, like, because aren't you just being a person? <laughs> well, you know, uh, what are the methods? It's terrifying, Matt. The first time I was in front of a class, I was yeah. my legs were shaking and I felt like I sounded like an alien. <laughs> yeah. And I was terrified. I was absolutely yeah. terrified. Yeah. And I got over yeah. that the acting class. Yeah. Okay. So get it. The, yeah. The the confidence to be up in front of other people when the when the camera's on you. Mm. That's yeah. When the camera's it's, on it, you it changes. That's a skill, right? It is. It is. I just filmed the infomercial, so <laughs> and it was fantastic. <laughs> well, when you're on a set, Matt, and there's I can't imagine. Around, yeah, and there's and you have to meet, uh, go to your mark, and do your lines and be natural. See, oh my god, it's the hardest thing I've ever done. I, okay, the lines part. Yeah, you got to memorize your that's lines. That's like, what do you do if you hate the lines? Like, do you have do you ever read the script and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a couple of times it just didn't flow. You know, I just yeah. couldn't get it. You know, I mean, I did set, set me to the ER. I did an episode of that. And that taught me a lot. It I was supposed about, to be on that show, too. <laughs> really? It was so fun. They're My great. ex-wife tried to sign us up for it. And I was like, no, I'm not going <laughs> to. That was so fun. I, I played the guy's mom that he had. He was having sex with our neighbor. And our neighbor was uh, married to an, a Marine. <laughs> She's like 50 and he's like 20, my son. Yeah. You're yeah. having sex on a picnic table. <laughs> oh my gosh. That and show is supposed it. to be realistic though. Like this is supposed it's to real. be yeah, it really happened. Yeah. We were actors it's... reenacting. Yeah. Oh, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? Okay. So when you get it when you get some lines that mm -hmm. you're just like, I hate these lines. Uh, yeah. I mean you gotta read them anyway, right? But mm -hmm. do, you, do you find it much harder to practice like not practice them, but do you find it much harder to get in character with those lines? If you you know, really... know what I do? I take, I take myself out of my own head and I just picture this person and I picture like I'm watching it in actually happening, the scene. Like, I, you know, when you watch your favorite show, you watch it over and over an episode and next thing you know, you have it memorized. Yeah. That's kind of like what I do. I imagine it happening and I watch it over and over and then I just reenact it. Wow. Yeah. Took a You're long time. Act there. Actor. <laughs> how long? How long? Did, how long did the classes take? I mean, how? I was in that class for two and a half years. Wow. Yeah. You grad? Like, is it like graduation? You graduate and stuff like that, and then they send you well, on your. When you've, learned, when you've learned all you can learn, and then everything's re starting to repeat, 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 because all the new people coming in, then you kind of learned all you can in that class. Then you move on to another one, or you know what I mean, or you just yeah. continue acting. You do short films. That's the best way to learn. I've done several of those. Those were great. Well, I'm sure. You're working with, where do you find the people to, like, who cast you to be in the short film? Well, I mean, you're on Actors Access and you submit to whatever, you know, you fit your, fit your profile. Um, I actually, um, I got cast from a, um, uh, um, what do you call those videos that you make yourself? A home, home audition with my cell phone. And, yeah. Um, Self-audition is what it is. And I sent it in. I got a Ready Player One infomercial that I did. Really? Yeah. That's so cool. So I posted that on LinkedIn, and an and a, a NBC Universal executive producer saw it and cast me. I met him at NBC Universal right next to the Harvey building, and he cast me in a short film with Basil Hoffman. Wow. And it's going around the short film right now, the short film festivals. That's so cool. I know I'm so, so lucky. I'm so lucky, Matt. <laughs> so it's pretty great. awesome. I mean, you, you now you're doing what you love to do. Mm, yeah. You, so so you're, you're also filming a web series, right? Yeah, it's called Work From Home. It's the okay. Corey Turner show. It's so funny because we're all at our houses. We're all in different parts of the of the world. Uh -huh. We've never been met. And we're like um, co-workers. <laughs> And we're like online, you know, with our computers talking to supposedly talking to each other when we're actually not. We just film our lines and then he puts them all together. It's so fun. It's actually got like 65,000 views now. I have to check. Oh. Is that on YouTube as well or is it on it's YouTube? Yeah. Corey Turner's show, Work From Home. You'll love it. It's family friendly. Kids can watch it. Barbie Rehab is not family friendly, though. <laughs> is there some curse words? Oh, my God. Yeah. 
All kinds of stuff. I have a very sensitive brain. I can't watch <laughs> certain watch- can't watch certain things past eight o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you start watching Barbie Rehab on YouTube, you're going to die. You're going to die last Yeah. Time. I cracked okay. up. I cracked up when I first saw it. So what inspired you? I mean, I know you said you've you've always wanted to entertain. Like, mm-hmm. were were you, like, in plays and doing stuff like that as a, a younger kid? Have you... Mm-mm. This actually, was just... Actually, I was behind the counter a lot in our restaurants, you know, being Greek and all. So I would always entertain the people at the counter, tell them jokes and stuff, and just mess with them. Yeah. That was a blast. So, yeah, that's like being on stage right there, right? It really was, yeah. Everybody keeps telling me I have to do stand-up, but the thought of it is absolutely terrifying. Stand-up? Um, it's, it's weird. <laughs> There's so many different levels of it. It's like, obviously, being on camera on a set was that hurdle you had to overcome that was nerve-wracking. Mm. But still, you, you don't feel like you could get up on stage and tell jokes? Because, you know, it's... It, um, but Jerry Seinfeld, I think, said this. Um, it's a great quote. He said, a great comedian can become a great actor, but a great actor cannot become a great comedian. Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. It's well, I mean, yeah, because there's so many things to comedy, telling a joke, yeah. the way the lines are presented, the way they say it. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like some comedians just like they can say anything and it's funny. Yeah. But a, a regular person says it, and you're just like, you're okay. a racist <laughs> idiot or something, you know? <laughs> like, what the hell is wrong with you? You're a sick person. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld goes, boo, and we all start laughing. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense, right? Right. That's why I think comedy, there's a form of magic in comedy, because it just doesn't make sense. Like, some exactly. people are so magical with it, and other people are just uh, void, uh, void of that type of magic. Yeah, I absolutely I- agree. I'm too scared to do that. I do want to try it. I think that I think the things that we're really afraid of are the things we need to get up and do. A little bit of material in the back of my do mind. You, do you want to tell? Do you want to try some out? Pardon? You want to try some out? Let's see. Okay. Um, I'll laugh yeah. no matter what. So the aging process is not fun. Right. right? That, that's my whole my thing. Turning fifty four is not something. I know you have two choices. You either get older or you die. I'll take door number one, right? But, but in Hollywood, to be my age, you're completely invisible. That's right. <laughs> you got to be young and hot or nobody even pays attention to you. I go into the bar now, and I was sitting there one time, and I was looking across the bar, and I was looking over, and I was like, what the hell? Is that my mother? And it was a mirror behind the bar. It was me. I was looking. <laughs> what the hell is my mother doing here? <laughs> It's yeah. good. And you sit there forever, and finally the bartender comes over. Can I get you something, ma'am? When they used to fight over coming and waiting to me, hi, miss, can I get you anything? <laughs> now it's <Yeah>. oh, <laughs> they begrudgingly come over to you. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's like pulling teeth trying to get them to even look in your direction. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Thank you. Just a little piece of it. Just a piece. Hey, most, most people don't even have a piece in the back of their head. Like, I've got nothing. <laughs> I want to talk to them too. Boy, you guys are looking good tonight. You guys are handsome. What a handsome audience! Did you guys like do that for me? <laughs> you have you have the web series Barbie Rehab. Are these all things that I mean? How long out are are they planning on filming for? And do you have projects set up for after that, or or are you just it's just like a continuing series? Have they picked up multiple seasons for either one of these? Uh-huh. As of right now, Amazon picked us up for, for a, uh, a certain number of episodes. That's kind of like okay. all I know. Yeah, as of right now. As soon as we start streaming on Amazon, we'll see how things go from there. Okay. Which will be very soon. Yeah. So you're, you guys are supposed to find out pretty soon if Amazon's like, yeah, let's order a whole bunch more shows? Well, they actually just asked for more, so we had to do some more filming. They okay. asked for more episodes, so we just finished that. Now mm-hmm. they're editing. It should be it should be on there very soon. The trailer is hilarious, man. I can't wait to check it out. Did you I so do you have an agent? I do. How did you go about finding an agent? Was it the same way you got Macklemore? Uh, you know, I got lucky. <laughs> so, yeah. I just got lucky. My my acting instructor is a manager. Okay. So he signed me after I trained for a couple of years and he signed me. 
And then I got a commercial agent. I, I asked her if she wanted to sign me, and she did. She got me a bunch of auditions, too, for commercials. So Have, have you done any commercials that you loved? Or have you I do. The Ready Player One is hilarious. I, I can share it to you. I'll share it. Yeah, please. I want to put links. I want to put links in the video to the stuff you've done too. That'll okay. be awesome. What was <laughs> so what was the ready? Can you can you kind of tell me what the Ready Player One commercial was like? What you what were you were doing in it? I was trailer trash again, but I was a mother. <laughs> I put the mother of the kid in the video. Are you, puts on the, the thing. Yeah. Are you being typecast as? That's fine by me. As long as you're working. I'm wearing my nightgown and shit and the sweater. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I say to my kid, when are you going to grow up? You can't live here forever. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can't just call me every time you want. I'll share it with you. It's funny. Yes, please. Are you, so do you have, uh, do you have, um, when you're doing these projects, do you have work lined up for after it? Or like, how does that work out for you? Because I know it's like with writing, I'm always thinking about the next thing I'm going to start, I'm going to be working on. Um, or do you have projects that you're, th you're thinking about doing for after well, this? I'm constantly, I'm constantly, um, uh, connecting with people, reaching out, getting my name out there. There's a few movies that they're, I'm being considered for, and mm -hmm. I should get another web series and there's a bunch of stuff on the, on the coal right now. I have a lot of coals on the fire. That's but good. People are contacting me directly now and asking if I would like to be in their project. And I'm just so honored. I can't even believe it. That's amazing. Yeah, that's really exciting. So lucky, yeah. Do you have like I know auditions can be extremely um, anxiety-inducing, right? Do you have any auditions that were like honestly just like the Terrible. worst? Yeah, did you bomb like crazy? Humiliating. Two hundred of them. I've been on over eight hundred, Matt. Holy crap! Eight hundred auditions. I lost eight hundred auditions in what six years? Um, actually, more like four. I didn't start auditioning until two and a half years after I started training. Wow. Um, four, four or five years. Will you Eight share years. some of the worst the worst moments of your life with us? I, yeah, I can share some of the really bad auditions if you want to have them all on my phone. <laughs> well, I'd love to see the video, but I, I want you to tell me, like, what, what sticks out in your head is some of the worst, like, oh, my God, I can't believe that uh, happened. When I, when, after I saw it. I'm like, oh my God, that looks so acted. It doesn't look natural even in the in the your worst imagination or, or you know what I mean? It was just terrible. They were all yeah. terrible. I thought I had my lines down. As soon as the camera started going, I forgot everything. I just <laughs> you know, it was just it was terrible. What what <laughs> do the, I I haven't like seen auditions before. What what do they say to you? Because there's there's like, like three or four people in the room, right? Sometimes there's a whole panel in oh this huge, God. like, big giant room. There's, like, a long table with a bunch of all the, the players, the producer, the director, the writer. You know what I mean? They're all there. And there's you in front of them all. <laughs> oh, my God. Talk about. You have to come up with your own. Um, okay. Everybody's going to do the. If you, if you think about the line, like, sometimes it's just one line that I have. Yeah. Like, uh, I'll, let me give you an example. Um, I was a patron in a bar. Okay. And the bartender was really busy. And I ordered uh, a Pinot Grigio, and the people next to me was a white Russian and a rum and coke, right? So the bartender comes up, and he goes, here's your Chardonnay, your white Russian, and your rum and coke. And my line was just uh, irritated. They, it didn't even say anything. My line was just, I asked for a Pinot Grigio. That was my line. Uh -huh. So I went way down to the audition. I had two and a half hours to think about this, you know? <laughs> so I had to do something that's, that stood out from the rest. Yeah. Everybody stayed the same. You know, with the, right. with the same kind of twist. So by the time I got there, my line, I, I did it like this. I asked for a Pino Grigio. <laughs> and they all started laughing, Matt, and they started clapping. Really? <laughs> yeah. First time Where's I ever the... got a standing O. You know? Nice. Didn't get the part, though. But that's okay. Why? Though. They'll remember me. Why didn't you get the part? Did they tell you? I think the part went to um, uh, um, the mother of the production. Mm. But she didn't even have to audition. She just got it. Yeah. Well, that's bull crap. But that's okay. <laughs> but if you, if you um, nail your auditions, yeah, they, they, they put you on their little Rolodex or whatever in their um, oh, they archive start for, for the future. They remember you, believe me. But you got to kill it every time. I feel like all I would do is yell. 
<laughs> just like that's where I started. I never been no crazy, yo. <laughs> oh my god, man! I auditioned for um, uh, Shameless. Yeah. I auditioned for Shameless at Warner Brothers oh. Studios. I played a Greek. I'm a Greek playing a Greek. Okay. So I did my line, uh -huh. and it was in, all in Greek. Exited Tiki Timmy. And when I did my line, she goes, okay, that was good. And it was the hardest thing I ever had to learn, that, that line. It's Exited Tiki Timmy, which is a word I've never even used in Greek. Okay. So I finally got it, and then I did my line. And she goes, okay, that was pretty good. Um, do it again. It's not so big. Like, I'm a Greek playing a Greek. And you don't want it to be you big. Want it to be big? Talk about throwing a wrench in the works. I didn't know what to yeah. do after. I was like, uh, "X said a tiki." I, then I just blew it. I'm like, "I'm yeah. out of here." I ran out Can't of play a meek coffee. Greek. How can I play a calm Greek? Yeah, does that <laughs> exist? My father. <laughs> <laughs> what was the, the the title of the movie or, or show? Could have been "Meek the Meek Greek." The right? Meek Greek. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> oh, I have a I have a um, a Greek accent uh, reel on my um, YouTube channel. It's got over six thousand views. Nice. I you know. do you do so? It's just Greek accents. Just the Greek accent. I'm talking about. I came here from uh, Chicago uh, to Santa Monica on Route 66 road trip, <laughs> <laughs> and then we stopped along the way and had some wine and some beer. <laughs> That's fantastic. You can, do, you. can you do any other accents? I Have you had Italian. to learn? Okay. Italian. I, I auditioned for Funny or Die, this Italian woman. And uh -huh. she had to say, come have dinner with us tonight. I'm cooking. Come, have a dinner with us tonight. I'm a cooking. <laughs> and then the girl goes, well, I can't have anything with the gluten in it. No, no glue in this food. No glue. That's good. Because you, like, you do the facial expression, too. Oh, God, those past casting directors were laughing. I was at the studio. Um, you know, Funny or Die, it's... Um, mm, I can't remember Will Ferrell. Yeah, Will Ferrell. Yeah, Will Ferrell. He's got his own studio. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. There's it's there's fun. so many people making content out there that I feel like there's there's a plethora of uh, of, of roles, right? Yeah. I mean, you just, have to, you just have to go out there and put in the footwork. Yeah. I, I make a lot of videos, me and my actor friend. He plays my husband on on um barbie we have we did the uh -huh. russian lady i'm olga from russia <laughs> <laughs> and it's really terrible matt <laughs> I play that. he's sitting at a booth and he's looking at his menu and when he takes his menu down there i am i just sit there because i'm this russian annoying lady <laughs> <laughs> he goes who this... the hell are you and why are you in my booth i am olga in this side of the booth was empty <laughs> <laughs> Is this how you guys like? Are you are you using this stuff to like promote yourself as well? I mean, do, do you like add all this to your reel kind of stuff? We do. We do some of it. Yeah. We also do this redneck one from North Carolina, and I play this total redneck. It's hilarious. It's, uh, yeah. How do you, does it does it feel kind of freeing to drop into another person? I love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Any chance I get to act, I, I'm there, man. I'm there. I played so many different characters already. It's like amazing. I did Elaine from Friends. Who? I mean, no, not Friends. Seinfeld. You know Elaine when she's like, Yeah. That in my life, in and out of traffic like an Olympic skier on a gold medal run, and my hair was a disaster. <laughs> I have that on my um, IMDb if you want to check it out. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. <laughs> Pretty funny. You've you've <laughs> definitely put in a ton of work in the past six years. Um, or four years even for yeah. after the acting class what is your do you have like a goal in mind i mean obviously when you started this out when you when you were like there's got to be more to life than this was your goal just let's see what else there is uh my goal was to to be a regular on a series if okay. i could just land a regular role on a series i've made it and i've done that and i'm so lucky you sometimes it takes 20 years to get where i'm at right now and i'm I'm just, you can't, I can't even tell you I'm on cloud nine. That's so amazing. Hey, is this real? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, how is this even happening? I have a lot of red marks on my arm. Huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I was just saying that like, you're constantly pitching yourself. It is amazing, right? But it's, it's, I, I think it's like to, when you start doing the things that you're supposed to be doing, 
and because right. yeah it just feels right and the energy that you need to do it is just there because you're like this is so much fun you don't want to be doing anything else right when i'm on set a 15 hour day on the set or 18 hour day seems like two hours and yeah. then when they say a wrap i'm like already <laughs> <It's over> already. <laughs> well, i remember running down santa monica boulevard in my socks trying to get to an audition in time oh wow double parking getting tickets i re-rented somebody once I was auditioning for My Haunted House. <laughs> oh my God, the stories. It's crazy. But it's 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 amazing because now you can look back and it's not just sitting in a biker bar, right? And right. like now you're living a life. Now I'm living a life that I've always dreamed of that I never thought possible, honestly. That's so it's cool. Yeah. It's a dream. It's a dream come true. So and I, when they emailed me about when they cast me on Barbie Rehab, they I got the email around 1230 at night. Mm -hmm. and I, I just made it. I, I couldn't even sleep after that. I was running around my house screaming. That's <laughs> my neighbors awesome. think I'm nuts. <laughs> that is the coolest Plus, thing that crazy ever. Ass next door. It's all just don't worry about her. <laughs> I'm being murdered. and They don't call because I think I'm doing a scene. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's just doing an audition. Probably. <laughs> she's probably just practicing. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. So has so after you landed the the role as a regular, did your did your eyes grow bigger though? Have they have they grown bigger? Like, well, <laughs> now I'm a, a regular. What like have your goals moved up? I'm just I'm just waiting to see what happens with this. As soon yeah. As become just taking famous, it a day. Then, huh? then I'm gonna make my own stuff after that. Yeah. <laughs> You know, Start I can't producing, wait. producing your own own things. Yeah, we got some ideas. Me and me and my um, actor, he's my my best friend. His name is Bruce Locklear. He's a great actor. He plays my husband on on uh, Barbie Rehab. So. Okay. We also do behind the scenes. I did the clapper. You know, yeah. we, we help any way we can. So, <clears throat> and it's sag, so it's gonna be good. As um, so are you planning on like writing your own material, like writing your own um, shows, kind of deal? Um, I don't know. I'm definitely going to try because yeah. I wrote that whole Russian lady. I wrote yeah. that because I, I dreamt that it happened to me. That this Russian, crazy Russian lady sat in my booth. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> what, did you say? what the hell? And I was dreaming this. I'm like, get the hell out of my booth. What? Did you pay for this booth? What makes you think it's yours? She said. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so I just wrote it when I woke up. That's and so then cool. And we reenacted it. <laughs> It's it's the neatest thing getting to talk to people who are are like living their dreams, you yeah. know. Thank you. Yeah. It's amazing. It doesn't seem real. I feel I really honestly feel like I'm in a dream. Yeah. What if you are? What if what I'm? I... Dreaming? Oh my god. <laughs> That's really my house. <laughs> what? Anyway, what, what, yeah. piece, what piece? What piece? What pieces of advice would you give to to people who are thinking about becoming actors or actresses and yeah, getting in? Number one, don't badmouth anybody in the industry on social media. You're shooting yourself in the foot. Mm. Because if you want to work with that person in the future, they're not gonna they're gonna find that and you're out. Yeah. So just be kind. That's all. Just be kind when you're online, especially because. When, when if, if you have a, a online presence, you know, social media presence, and you're up for a role, they're gonna look yeah. at your behavior. If they see you as like a drama queen, a complainer, uh, a troublemaker, they do not want you on their set. I wouldn't. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like a sickness, Go right? It spreads. Stop complaining and don't and don't bring politics and religion to the workforce or the dinner table. The Absolutely. workforce meaning social media. If you're an actor, that is your workforce. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So is that number two? Be nice. <laughs> is that number oh, one? Number, or two? Two. number two advice, practice on your own. Practice on your own. Uh, you can download all kinds of sides. It's right there. It's for free. And you can use your cell phone or whatever and just reenact as many different characters as you possibly can and film it. Wait, when you said sides, you can download, what is that? Oh, sides are your lines for an audition. Okay. They're your lines. They're a scene. You can down, there's apps where you can download uh, lines from different Absolutely. movies? 
different movies, um, commercials, just about everything, TV shows. You can download it all and you can reenact it. I'm telling you, there, there's no better uh, teaching process than to do that to your, for yourself, you know? Yeah. Definitely um, continue to hone your craft. You can always get better. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Always get better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There is no perfect actor or person, right? Mm -hmm. well, even um, Meryl Streep gets nervous on the set. Yeah. We all do. We, we can, and we're all really, really insecure <laughs> about our performances. <laughs> it's like you can nail it and then and you're like, oh, God, I, I blew it. What was it like the first time you saw yourself on camera? Okay. It was horrible. I didn't even want to see it. Yeah. I didn't she want to see it. I still don't like nose. <laughs> you still don't like seeing yourself on camera? No. Really? Except I for when it. I do funny ones. I like the funny ones. Yeah. yeah. See, I think I, like I think when you let yourself go like that and you're just like, I'm just gonna be funny, it's supposed to be goofy, then it's okay. But like if you're trying to be serious and you just look like so just like you're trying so hard to be normal <laughs> oh no, my god it's so fun though the more challenging the role the more fun it is yeah being really nice is so boring <laughs> i did a, um an audition for a real evil lady trying to lure this little girl to, to kill her uh -huh. and oh my god i was so evil i loved it i'll share it that one with you. please do it felt good i bet huh I thought it was uh, the casting director. She cast for all kinds of big movies and stuff. She cast for Tom Hanks movies. She actually wow. wrote back to me. Creepy. Wow. Creepy. Uh, <laughs> she liked it. She liked Whoa. it. But I think it hard. That's okay. I think they wanted somebody younger. <laughs> that's that's so fine. Crazy. As long as they like it, that's all that matters. That's right. And remember that. Tell you, tell actors that uh, newbies. Tell them it's not about getting the part. As long as you ace that audition and they remember you. Then they're gonna you, you. That's the future. That's nailing it, no matter what. Well, it's like we said in the beginning, right? It's not about. It's like we can't connect the dots looking forward. We can only connect them looking back. I mean, you have no idea who's gonna see that and mm -hmm. what they're gonna do in the future. Yeah. They might want to always have a good attitude wherever you go. When you go to auditions, remember, there's a camera on you. Mm -hmm. So your behavior at that audition, they're gonna go back and look at it. <laughs> You should, come up, you should see what some of the actors do, Matt. It's it's mind blowing. Well, like to shoot themselves in the foot. They yeah. sit there and bitch and complain the whole time. I'm like, dude, you know how lucky you are to be here. <laughs> yeah. Ah, like, oh, you know what? I I had to come all the way over here, <laughs> and I was like, oh, would you please stop? Get out. There's ten thousand other actors ready to take your place. <laughs> well, yeah, it's an entitlement, entitled attitude, right? Like, I I deserve. I shouldn't even have to. Yeah, they, they do feel that way. I've heard him. I've heard this guy just go off on a casting director. Huh. I, I could not believe it. Do you know like, who oh, I am? <laughs> oh, it's kind of like that. Yeah. A total unknown person saying that. My I time know. Is down, you know, this is on my time. Nobody even pays me for these auditions. Well, then don't do it. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> I've heard him say that. Like, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> like, it's duh. Why are we here? We're yeah. here to get auditions you don't get paid for job <laughs> interviews like that's not there how this works what kind of, right kind of insane right. thinking is that yeah. i didn't even get paid for that job interview i went on bullcrap man <laughs> like, <laughs> audition for mcdonald's they didn't even give me fries <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> life is just really unfair sometimes you know <laughs> yeah you know if we want, you got to put in the time. You got to work hard. Party gifts for everything we do. Like, are there party favors for this? Yeah, like, no. Can you imagine? Like the little kid going to the dentist and you get a lollipop. Yeah, every time. You didn't outgrow that yet? <laughs> no, I know I haven't. <laughs> well, yeah, I actually was tempted to grab Your it. gift bag, by the way, is in the mail. So. I get a gift bag? No. What are you, a oh. child? Oh. <laughs> What do I get? Dot? Twiz Twizzlers? That's right. I send every guest a box of my own facial hair. Ah! <laughs> I'm saving this for you, Mary. <laughs> I'll make I'll make a I'll put a bunch of glue on a piece of paper and I'll throw your hair on there and see what happens. That's <laughs> the magic of art. Yeah. It's <laughs> a great idea. So so we got be be nice on social media, or yes. don't bad anybody. 
no and politics, no, no politics or religion. Don't get in big fights with people. Don't make, don't get, don't be shitty. Just be nice. Nice. So much and easier. It, it is so much easier. Yeah. And it, the, like, honestly, the, you know, more flies with honey than vinegar or whatever. Like, mm -hmm, that's true. true. So yeah. true. Well, and, and also like helping other people. I help so many actors. I, yeah. They private message me and I, anything I can, I do. Because it's like the stuff that they want out of their careers, the parts that they are going to go for doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to be able to be successful because you're helping them. It's like, I, I know, I know Hollywood too has like got that reputation of like, you have to step on other people to get to where you're going. And even in business, like anywhere in America, you have to step on people. That's not true. Not true. Only if you're a mean person. See, in, yeah. in Hollywood, everybody's journey is completely different. Yeah. You see what I mean? Every single actor has got a different story to tell of how they got there. Some people, it took them overnight. Some people, it took them 10 years and 15. A couple yeah. of people, a couple of months, they're in LA and they've already got signed on a, a, a series regular. You just never know. But the main thing is, it's who you knows you, not who you know. Yeah. And it's a business. And you are the CEO of your company, and that's you. Yeah. So do you want other people running your business or do you want to run it? I want to run it. I want to run it. I want to run it, Mary. Most of my auditions I got myself there, Matt. I only got like maybe 100 to 200 between my agent and my manager. Maybe a couple hundred. I got the other 600 myself. Yeah. I put myself Let's, out. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like that personal responsibility. Like nobody's going to make it happen for you. Nobody yeah. has to want your career to take off but you. Exactly. Like, like before I started doing this, nobody had any idea what I, who I was or what I was doing or anything like that. And it wasn't like their responsibility to be like, hey, Matt, will you talk to me online? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? What do you want me to do that for? I don't like talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's my, but it's, and it's, and if I want to, if I want to have content, like, I have to be willing to go out and talk to people and ask people, hey, will you, would you like to come on the show? It's not their job to be like, Please, can I come on your show? Which I've had people ask if they can come on, which is fantastic. But at the same time, like I have got to be willing to put in that that work, and that's for everybody. I think that's a yeah, that's it's a true. Great facet. Like, you know, <clears throat> the worst thing, the the thing that I hate to say irritates me the most, but what irritates me the most is when an actor says, "I'm talented. Why didn't I get the part?" We're all talented. That's what yeah. Okay, you got to stand out. You yeah. gotta have shoulders above the rest. You gotta do something to make yourself stand out. Forget yeah. about your time. We all got that. Yep. You gotta do more. I think that's so key. Like you're everyone's talented. Stand mm -hmm. out and stand out consistently. Yeah. Like if you, you anybody can like I say every dog has its day, right? But like mm -hmm. if you're if you're nailing it every single time, like you said, if you're going in auditions and they're like, There's Mary Dallas again. She just killed that audition. Yeah. yeah. There's Mary Dallas again. She just killed that audition. There's Mary. What is going on that. with this Mary Dallas? Let's just write a part for her, for God's sakes. It happens. I'm I like know. a recurring nightmare to those poor casting directors. <laughs> <laughs> They're like sleeping at night like, Ugh. Oh, my God. There she is again. The gift that keeps Mary on giving. Dallas. like herpes. <laughs> <laughs> she's oh, never yeah, going she's away. <laughs> And, and, and the biggest thing is people can, like, other people on the outside can be like, oh, that, whatever, say whatever they want about it and not oh. and not agree with it. But, man, you, you just keep plugging away and plugging away. Yeah. And then you're going to be the one on, you know, the big screen or have, being a series regular or whatever it is. Yeah. And that's, and that's with anything in life, I think. Just yeah. keep showing up and doing the best damn job you can do. Damn right. Put your best foot forward. You're a professional, be professional, you know, know your line, just be who you're supposed to be. And all the naysayers, I'm going to be laughing at them all the way to the bank. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Counting your monies. And when I'm on Ellen, I'm going to flash him the bird. Hey, you guys, remember when you said I'm never going to make it and I'm stupid for trying to be an actress? God, I don't know. This. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's such a cool thing, too, because like. All those people, because you, as much as we don't want to like say those people got, you know, I'm doing it because of them, like against yeah. them, those people, 
it's still in the back of our minds because I've had every, I think every human being has doubters, people who are like, you're not good enough at this or that or whatever it is. Um, that are always that driving. There's always that motivation, like that validation in your head saying, see, I, I knew I could do it. But it's like other, having other people believe, believe in us is it one helps. thing. But like, yeah, it helps. But ha- like trying to consistently believe in ourselves that, it's I hard that's the key. What? You're never going to make it. What? What are you, stupid? That's what they were saying to me. Yeah. But you know what? Success is the best revenge. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll show them. Check <laughs> out my IM, IMBD page, buddy. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> I got some hits over there. Yeah. Got some stuff going on. <laughs> that's so cool. It is the best revenge. It is. I'm so excited for I, I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to check out your, uh, your YouTube series, Bar- Barbie Rehab. And the, oh, the web, what was the web series called again? Uh, work from home. The work Corey home. Turner show. Work from home. Yeah. I'm excited to see how that's how that's laid out because it sounds you like. You know what? I'm gonna send you that last that last the episode that I just did is really funny. Okay. I'll just send you that one episode that you can get the rest. There's a whole bunch. That was the very latest one. Okay. And I'll just yeah, I'll just go ahead and put it on your um, uh, Twitter. Sweet. And along with the Ready Player One. And I'll go ahead and put that on there too. Awesome. And I'll, I'll link that in the, the description of the video so people can check out your work. Um, Mary thank Dallas. Is, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm so glad we got to connect. Oh, thank um, you. Thank you so much. Doing this is so fun. Uh, I'm, I'm, I hope if I can be of help in any way, you know, this, this is, this helps you just a little bit more. Um, get your name out there to people who don't know you yet. And, I can't wait to watch the videos, like I said, but this is what it's all about connecting with people. And yeah. Um, yeah. it's really, it's really been exciting. And thank you again so much for coming on the show. Oh, Matt, thanks for having me. I'm absolutely honored. Thank you so much. This show is a big deal for all you people out there. <laughs> Get addicted. This is, this Barbie is rehab. Barbie rehab. I'll tell you what, rehab's a fun place. Don't go. You can... Don't go. <laughs> this rehab is freaking hilarious. <laughs> no, real rehab, real rehab is insanely hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be, I could, I you're in watch, watch the season one. You're not going to believe it. Okay. Season right. two is like way bigger. But season one is hilarious. You want to catch up, you know. I do. Yeah, me and my, me and, uh, my girlfriend are going to check it out for sure. We're going to watch these. <laughs> Thank you. RPG oh, and average. I'm going to send you that audition, too, that I was telling you about when I'm evil. Okay? Yes. The creepy <laughs> one? No, the one where I'm evil. The, it's the one where um, she wrote back and said, creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Excellent. Tom Hanks, he cast for all his movies. She wrote That's fantastic. And then, I'm like, what was she doing to me? <laughs> Little old me? <laughs> that's got to be like when a publisher or, or a literary agent writes back to us as, as writers it's like oh my god i'm not invisible <laughs> it's amazing i'm on the map <laughs> yeah you get on the map for sure Thank well, Mary, you so i hope you yeah my pleasure i hope you enjoy the rest of your day okay. um you keep plugging away i'm so i'm so honored to have met you let's stay in touch okay likewise thank you so much matt have a great week you too thanks Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you would, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification for the bell. You know what? We love you. Love you. Love you. You know what?